ideal condition. So uh, when you've got wind over tide, so the tide's coming in and the wind is going against it, you get this horrible sort of uh, chop that you have to fight through. So I tilt my outboard up higher, which raises the bow out of the water, with the idea being that you just sort of skim across the top of them rather than go through them. But the sun's come out, a bit of a storm cloud behind us, but let's head out the front and see if it's okay to uh, try and get a few of these herring in. See, there's a slight change in the waves as they come down here so if the wind's in that direction all of this bit here is being blocked for the wind so hopefully this little bit here will be nice and shallower just by the third third light ship in the harbour so fingers crossed it will be slightly more comfortable to sit here time but really they're a game changer to keep things clean and tidy and they come in a serious well organized box I'm changing going from the most untidy fisherman in the world to someone that is vaguely organized well keep an eye on the weather forecast this week and I didn't think I'd be looking at this site at all um, I thought the wind was gonna be horrendous everything was going to go wrong but I have managed and that is one of the good things about this area there is normally always somewhere where you can find a little bit of shelter if you do have that real urge to get out yeah the fishing might not be electric I think there is a little tap on that left hand rod now actually the fishing might not be electric and that's probably just a little whiting but there's always somewhere where you can sneak out and find yourself a little bit of shelter because really considering the the weather this is not what I would describe as rough in the slightest. And I'm still in 30 foot of water in the Harwich Harbour Basin, so. Exciting stuff. Exciting for me anyway. Now what I am gonna try is on my squid, I'm gonna put some of this gump on here. Liquid attractant. It's made from real black lug, so I imagine it's just like a, a blended up black lug and oil. But got to be worth a try just to try and get try and get something else out of it. So I'm just going to pour a bit of that onto my squid, give it a go, see if it has any effect whatsoever. They do say that most products like this are are bought to catch the fishermen rather than the fish, but who knows? Black lug has been working well around here, so. No reason why it shouldn't have some sort of positive effect. BTS have just said the wind speed's at about 22 knots, which, to be honest with you, most places you wouldn't be able to fish in 22 knots, but... So, 
I just had a, an upside rod out, and both on the on last two casts, I've had my sw squid a little knock, and then I've had the head of the squid and all the tentacles taken off it. So there is life down there, but I'm going to set my hook up slightly longer down the squid's body to try and get whatever it is, probably something tiny. It is now hammering it down, and this is why I love my little cuddy cabin that I'm inside of, and I'm bone dry but it is absolutely hammering down. Have you ever picked that up on the water? And probably the noise on top of the cuddy as well. All the windows. <laughs> I am not a fair weather fisherman. Well, actually at the moment, I'm not actually a fisherman. I'm, I'm a person that's sitting on a boat that's just thrown some bait in the water. Because at the moment I can't hook anything. Well, I suppose that's just a little whiting that have been tapping away at the squid. But again, it's just giving me my little fix of getting out on the water. I can't really grumble in the slightest. Well, I just had a tiny little knock, and I'm very pleased that I've beaten the blank with this charming little chap, Mr. Dogfish. Little Darren, Darren the Dogfish. Lovely colourings real reptilian eye on him and just a ball of muscle I've said it before say it again I really like these fish not many people do but they don't really do much to actually catch but to look at them as natural fish really shark like really lovely eyes let's get him back Really, really resilient as well. Just all round decent fish, really. And if you do want to, you can cook them up because that is what rock eel is or rock sand. Or you can curry them. Well, the fishing has livened up slightly. We're now basically at high water. Let me see this right hand rod. Last couple of casts uh, I've had. Bite on each time. It's really tricky to see in the sun though. But I need to sit my hands. I'm going too soon. Getting too excited about catching these little tiddlers. Yes. Yeah, I've got a bite on both rods now. Only little stuff, but I've got to make a decision which rod to go for, which one looks like the better bite. it probably isn't much because Monsieur Crab has arrived probably because it's high slack of water what a shame but that demonstrates that demonstrates how sensitive fishing with braid is, that even slightly a little nick from a crab will still move the end of the rod. Really second to none for bite indication. Mono, with mono filament line, you wouldn't have seen that at all. Tiny little crab just can just move the end of the rod just enough. Shame it's not a fish really. Catch crabs. That weather is not looking that pleasant down the Orwell where I've got to go next. That is looking not very nice. Well, second species of the day has landed, and it's a little whiting, about the same size as the bait that it took. Come on, let go of the squid. So there you go, little tiny whiting. Off he goes. That uh, wind's really picking up, so it is proper blowing up. I'm going to be lines in. I'm sure if you can make out just how rubbish this weather is, but I'm getting a face full of rain. 
very windy, there's nothing on the end of this. That is proper wind. Proper wind. Proper rain. So I'm going to take a little bit of a cruise back. The visibility I can already see down the Orwell is pretty rubbish. So if we get all the lights on, pretend it's a bit of a night passage, just for my own safety and so other people can see me, get back to the slip and, uh, and load up. Hopefully next weekend weather looks a bit better, so we hope we have to see on a, on a search of something slightly a bit different, but I'll see you again.